Amazing. Keep up the great work. You realize, of course, that the more time you put into growing, the more time you put into personal development, the better the results are going to be in the long term. The more money you're going to make. So, awesome, guys. So now what we want to do is we want to have a look at continuing looking at building that second tier sales deck. These are obviously, like we said, it's the brass tech sales deck. It's the one where we talk about return on investment. So let's talk about what needs to go into the opening. Now, bearing in mind, the opening is we've got to catch the person's attention, but you've also got to be careful to make crazy claims that they'll find absolutely ridiculous and will, will kind of affect your credibility. So what you need to do is, in that opening, you want to set the tone for how you will provide the optimized return on investment. So you're not talking about specifics, but you're setting the tone. For example, you can be talking about industry, like in industry where organizations have, let me use my, uh, my organization as an example, where we do the sales enablement training. So what we would do is we would allude to trends in the marketplace. We, we would talk about what's happened. We will talk about, give indications of um, great results that we've had, but we're not going to get into the nitty gritty yet. It's all, at this stage, we're alluding to it. Secondly, we want to allude to there. So we speak initially, so as we start off, like I said, initially we start off, we talk about um, where we've had great successes, we talk about trends, changes in the marketplace, we talk about um, our industry leading learner methodology, we talk about all of those things and then we bring it down more specifically and we then start to allude to we have looked at your organization, we understand what's going on in your organization, we need a few, we obviously need to ask you a few more questions but we believe we can support you to optimize the performance. So again, we're talking about the optimized performance, we're talking about the outcome that the organization wants, but we're not talking about specifics. We're not going into, we will definitely do this. We'll do that later in the, um, in the process where we're going to prove we can do it. Next, it should be broad and focused merely on setting the tone. So your opening must be powerful. It must speak to the big picture, what's going on, what changes in the market, even down to the level of what changes we've seen within their specific organization. Talk to the transformation broadly. Set the tone in your openings. Your opening's got to be dramatic. It's got to be powerful. It's got to be engaging. It's got to talk about return on investment. It's got to set the tone for how you're actually going to save them money, not by reducing the price. You're going to improve efficiencies, make them and their team more efficient and effective. You're going to provide a better solution. And most importantly, you're going to give them something that's going to work so well, you're going to help them to sleep at night.